our official moving in vlog. In about an hour and a half, we go sign the lease to our apartment and get the keys, which is so exciting. I don't know how it's coming together so fast. We've literally been here just over two weeks and we've, just, everything's we've working out. got our apartment, we've got jobs. jobs. Like everything is going so perfectly. Guess you just signed their lease. Oh, These guys. <laughs> Now we're off to Ikea, I think. We can spend another five hours wandering around Ikea. Yes. <laughs> Last time we were literally there four hours. Welcome to our little van. <laughs> Chock full of Kmart stuff. You can't see, but there we go. <laughs> <laughs> I look like a little snail. <laughs> Very excited to learn that resort style facilities means one small barbecue. <laughs> So. On the like um, listing, listing, it had like resort style facilities, <laughs> and then we're like, oh, we didn't get like shown any. We're like, oh, so maybe a pool, maybe a gym, and then there's like a communal deck, and then it's got a little barbecue on it. It's resort style. What more can you expect from a resort? Also, want to um, say that this is my first time driving in Australia. I'm pretty sure the road rules are the same, but you know, I didn't check, so I'm just driving like a New Zealander and hoping that's okay. Would you like a, a, a classic uh, delicacy of Sweden, the garlic bread? <laughs> the two dollar garlic bread. Tell everybody I'm on my way. <laughs> Let's go to Ikea. <laughs> Just got garlic bread. I got an actual meal. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Got a lot so far. <laughs> Loaded her up in our mattresses, two mirrors, table, and then a bunch of other stuff in here. All right, we just, <laughs> we just had a very successful IKEA mission. We got mattresses, we got huge mirrors, we got a dining table, and then like pillows, bedding, all that sort of thing, along with some other kitchen -y stuff. random kitchen y things. Yeah. <laughs> but we've just arrived in the parking building of our apartment, and so now we get to. <laughs> Try and load everything into the elevator. <laughs> Good afternoon, guys. It is day two of moving in. It's about 12 30, um, and I'm only just getting the day started. Well, technically, I got up around 9 30, but I had to organize stuff back at the hotel and then lug it all the way here on public transport. So, I'll show you guys what I brought with me today. So I brought my biggest suitcase and then a bunch of the stuff that I thought I might need. I'm staying here tonight because I have work nearby so it makes more sense to stay the night because I have work tonight and tomorrow daytime. So yeah, I'm going to stay here. I've only just got here and I'm about to leave again. I'm going to go to Spotlight because um, there's a bar cart on sale that ends today that I want to buy. And then also I need to get some things for work and also some cleaning supplies to give the place just kind of like an entry clean because we didn't have time to do that yesterday. I can't remember what the last thing I vlogged yesterday was. It started off really well and then it, the day kind of turned into a shit show. The last thing that I remember vlogging was getting back from Ikea with the mattresses and mirrors and stuff. And after that we were supposed to pick up this couch at 3 from a guy on Facebook marketplace and we had hired the ute only for one day and we had to return it by 5.30. And we originally said that we would pick it up at 11.30 in the morning after we signed our lease. And then at about 10.30 he asked if we could push it back to the afternoon and we were like Mm, okay, but it has to be 3 p.m. at the latest and then at about 2 30 he finally replied saying that um, He wouldn't get home till 4 and we were like uh -huh, We only have the ute today in the end We just went there at 4 and then so by the time we got the couch out of his house packed it onto the ute and driven back over here It was already 5 o'clock and then we had to unload it So then it was 5 30 already by the time we were even leaving and there's like a 30 minute grace period So I was like as long as I can get it back by 6 o'clock they won't charge me any extra no, it was 6.29 by the time I got the car parked and like checked it out and everything and was like all done with it. So got charged an extra $22 for being an hour late. Oh goodness, there's a spider. What are you doing? Hmm, really don't know what to do about that. This is the current situation when you walk into our apartment. These are all of the couch cushions. They all need to be put through the wash. Luckily they all come off. And these two boxes are pots and pans that I ordered from Spotlight so we had to go pick them up yesterday and then a bunch of Ikea stuff. Here's our two pieces of couch. They really need a clean so I need to hire that upholstery cleaner probably on Monday. A table with stuff stacked on like literally just stuff everywhere. This room is my room. So that's what it looks like. We've got our mirror yesterday. Oh my gosh, 
that mirror caused so much grief me trying to get it off the ute um and i handed i handed rebecca hers and i lent mine up against the um crate is that what it's called? Yeah, the crate of the ute. And then as I went to climb off, I like had my hand on the edge of the crate that the mirror was leaning on. And I was like, halfway through actually getting off, I was like, oh no, if this crate moves, the mirror is going to fall and smash. So then like halfway through <laughs> stepping off, I made the decision that I needed to like change and not grab that. And then my foot didn't find the little piece behind. So I literally like swung and fell and like smash landed on my side, like kind of like in kind of fetal position is how I landed like on my side smacked so hard on the concrete <laughs> and then Rebecca's just standing there holding her mirror and then she like pushes her hand out and stops my mirror from falling over but I'm just like lying there on the ground in front of this mirror and I tried to reach up at the same time like as I landed I was like oh shit I need to get this mirror because it's a $200 mirror we both got <laughs> these $200 IKEA mirrors which are the classic ones that like everyone has but we were not about to let them smash and have to spend another $200 on mirrors so <laughs> not to mention the bad luck um oh my god it was hilarious it hurt but like only for a little while like after the in initial shock wore off like I stood up and I was like shaking because I was like oh my god and the adrenaline but as considering how hard I smashed on the ground like I am so thankful that I didn't like break anything or actually really hurt myself um and then we just could not stop laughing like me picturing how I landed and her actually having seen it it was kind of just the beginning of everything going downhill yesterday <laughs> anyways I need to stop rambling and just go because I am running out of time already I am officially broken I just brought all of this back on the bus with a five minute walk either way I feel like it doesn't even look like a lot on camera but that bag is like wider than me and that drinks trolley box is so heavy. Here's me next to the box and just to give you an idea of how big it is. I got a router and then also mainly um, like cleaning supplies, toilet paper, washing powder, just things to get us started. It's now about quarter past three and I work at five so I have to start getting ready for work. I still have to unroll my mattress so I'm just going to quickly vacuum the carpet under it. I bought a vacuum yesterday from Kmart. It's this cordless one. I think it was like $70 or something. This is the box if anyone's wondering. It's sitting at like 4.4 stars on the Kmart website out of like 450 reviews so I thought it was pretty good just for our tiny little space. We don't need anything too expensive. Today is Monday and I believe the last time I vlogged was Saturday morning but yeah it's now Monday because I had work so I haven't really done anything else apartment related um, except for like unpacking a few things since then so I thought I would start vlogging today because I have the whole day off and I have tomorrow off as well so I think we're gonna get hopefully a lot done in the next couple days. So it's about 10 a.m. this morning and what I've done so far um, I ordered a TV and I also ordered some furniture from Kmart so I got a TV unit and a coffee table and then my bedside tables. I'm still trying to figure out the best fridge to get so I haven't ordered a fridge yet but um, we also have a little dilemma because what we were led to believe was an uh, internal laundry that had obviously a washing machine is just a dryer so we we have a dryer but we don't have a washing machine I don't know what they thought we would just use a dryer by itself for but I'll show you guys so this is the little internal laundry cupboard in the bathroom so it's got like a washing tub and a dryer and when we viewed the apartment we didn't really look too closely at the machine so we thought it was a washer and a dryer but it's just a dryer so now i have to buy a washing machine and i took all the covers off the couch to wash them at like 1 a.m after work the other night and now they're just sitting in my bathroom while the couch cushions are in the kitchen but i also unpacked my frying pans and pots that i got from spotlight they're so cute they're cast iron enamel so I think they're gonna be really good quality. They were all on like super sales, so I think the pans were like 10 and 14 dollars and then the pots were all like 20 to 25. And then I also bought some pink baking stuff, which is so cute. First on the agenda is going to the hotel to get more of my stuff and then I also need to grab my passport because I need to rent the upholstery cleaner to clean this couch. 
because she is looking pretty dusty. Okay, guys, so I think I last left off right before I went to pick up the couch cleaner, so I have it now. It's right here, filled it up, about to give it a go. But it's also dark right now because it is six o'clock and I ended up dropping this off back at the apartment and then going out to buy a fridge and a washing machine. So I went to a place called Cheap World, I think. I found a fridge and washing machine that I liked. So I bought them and they're gonna get delivered tomorrow between 10 and 12. So that'll be really good. We can finally like buy food and actually properly live here instead of being between here and the hotel. So I started the couches at like six o'clock. It is now 10 p.m. It took me four straight hours to clean this couch. And I can't even tell if it's fully clean. It looks worse on camera actually. And in real life, it doesn't look that bad. But yeah, I'm gonna have to go over that tomorrow again once it's dry. Absolutely disgusting. And this is the fourth bucket as well. Good morning, it is now Tuesday and I have just been kind of pottering around this morning cleaning up um, and getting stuff ready to clean my carpets. But we also had the fridge and washing machine arrive. So here she is. Ignore all the pillows here. I'm still washing the cases, but this fridge is second hand. I got it for $420, which I think is really good. This is the inside. You need to give it a good clean. And then the freezer has a bunch of drawers, which is so cool. And then here's the washing machine. It's already got some of the pillowcases in it. I can only do three at a time, but we're slowly getting through them. So next on the agenda is to clean my carpets. Um, the couches are just out here. They actually look pretty good. I feel like I'm still gonna do a bit of spot cleaning on them before I have to return the upholstery cleaner. But first off, I'm gonna do the carpets. All done. Now it's Rebecca's turn. Ew. We just lugged these two huge boxes back from the post shop. Ikea bags are massive, so that really shows how freaking huge this box is. But now we're off to a different Ikea to try and find the pink dinner set that we want that's sold out at the Ikea that's closest to us. We're going there just for this pink dinner set. We're really dedicated <laughs> to the aesthetic. Let's go. <laughs> this is what we've got so far. We found our pink dinner set to carry on the bus. We do have to carry this all back on the bus. But we've done worse. Yep. Just gonna power through. Doesn't mean we should be doing it again, but. Uh. <laughs> Had to finish it off with a strawberry sorbet. Still have to lug this all back on train and bus. <laughs> Not excited for that. Suffering. <laughs> oh my god. We made it, barely. Almost didn't survive. Rebecca's gonna try to pick up my bag to see how heavy it is. I swear it's like 40 kgs. Oh my god. Oh my god! <laughs> I had to carry that for our like 15 minute walk. Oh my god! I was like, it's a bit heavy too. <laughs> I can really lift it with one thing. Like, what? It feels like a dream compared to mine. Still the unboxing. So we have the plant balls. Very important. We've got two packs of those. And we've got the veggie hot dog. This I actually got from Adias. Adias. We've got some drawer roll stuff to stop our plates from sliding around. This is where it gets to be. <laughs> the lid sleeves, a can opener, a three pack of little ones, a big mama, oh. and two kind of medium ones. <laughs> pack of chopping boards is actually a lot heavier than I remember now. Ooh. The big pink dinner set. I feel bad now. <laughs> Yours was so light. Shall we do a little <laughs> comparison? Excuse me though, I was carrying your drink bottle as well, so yeah. add that in there, love. Oh, we also got all these oh, yeah. martini I... glasses, but they're literally light as a drink. Um, yeah, but I stopped them from getting smashed, so who's the yeah, real I'm hero here? The biggest bag. <laughs> <laughs> little bottle there. It's very cute. Very important. Do they? <laughs> <laughs> See, I knew my weight limit, love. Hey yep. there. Yep. One of these ones. <laughs> Two of each of these ones. That's all you needed. 
there's, there's like, like a reasonable amount to yeah. carry, to and be it's fair. Not like she made me carry all of like her stuff as well. Everything that I got is like <laughs> the stuff that I wanted. Also, I did get it home. I don't regret it now that it's here. I'm glad I was able to do it one trip because I'm no two trip bitch. Okay. <laughs> I'll do it in one. <laughs> so, smart and reasonable person who knows what they can carry. Well, I carried Complete it. Complete full. Complete full. I carried it. it was how many painful. times did we stop? Well, how many times did we stop today when we're bringing your box back? When we're bringing <laughs> your box back? Your box. Hey, it's also awesome. Your four it's boxes. All the stuff you're going to use too. The audacity. Communal stuff. The audacity. Communal stuff. Hmm. First stuff. <laughs> what is it? Oh, it's a baby. Because I bought a bunch of these, like, all the stuff oh, yeah. stackers. We have all of these little stacker bowls. Oh, cool. So we have baby, baby, middle, honey. And it was only $15 for this set of three. Well, the big daddy. Oh, what is that? Just rip her out. Don't even need to open the box. Oh my gosh. This is so cute. And then I also got the big versions. I can't believe how good quality this stuff is. Mm. Considering, like, I'm pretty sure this was like $2 and $3. Like, I'm surprised. Oh, nice little serving bowl. That's all for that one. A little trio of glass bowls. So cute, and they match the big chip ones. I cannot wait till we can have friends and have parties. <laughs> Friend applications below. Must be our friend. If you live in Sydney and you want to eat chips and dip on our deck, apply below. Super cute oil bottles. Oh. One for olive oil and one for balsamic. Vinegar. That's beautiful. I think that these would be good outside ones. That's true. Nice little sangria jug. I don't remember buying six of these tiny bowls, but I guess what? I did. <laughs> oh no, they're smaller. Oh. Even babier. Pink box. Oh, these are our butterfly glasses. <gasps> yes. So cute. Now all our cocktail glasses. Classic. Oh, beautiful. Amazing. Oh, the dickhead. <laughs> yes! Vampire Diaries moment. Now we can reenact Damon and Stefan scenes. Pretend <laughs> <laughs> to drink off. This is the most important part. Mmm, that nice plastic sound. <laughs> we can just pretend that we drink bourbon, but really it's gonna be iced tea. Yeah. And then we have the babies. You're gonna have to do a count of how many times you say babies. Baby They're baby mama. ones, <laughs> big mama. That's how I define sizes, it's just babies and mamas. Look! They feel such good quality as well, like they're so like nice and thick. <laughs> Throw it on the ground, see if they break. <laughs> and then we bought one more of each of the cocktail glasses, just because they were only like $12 each, and if one of these breaks, we're not going to want to have an uneven number, so I bought some more to put in the cupboard <laughs> to replenish. And all of this, came to like $114 or something ridiculous, like so, so cheap. Wait, we can show them that I got matching shop glasses. So also went to Maya before I even got these because we knew that we wanted like the prismy style, like typical whiskey glasses. And I also had these shop glasses that look the same. <laughs> so now we have like the full set. Also got the standard like tall shop glasses as well for the tequila. And they just feel beautiful as well, like such thick um, glass, so they feel super sturdy. And then these are double walled glasses were on sale, so I think a set of two was like $8 or something. Beautiful double walled glasses, and I got two sets of them, so we have four all together. And I think we have enough glassware now to sink a small ship, so. So this is the aftermath. <laughs> I was trying to sit in the box, but it just, it was having none of it. <laughs> now you're stuck on the floor, aren't you? Yeah. So you're sleeping. Oh yeah, it was nice of them to send you a pillow with the box. <laughs> this is an absolute cyclone. <laughs> the couches are outside. <laughs> oh my God, no. <laughs> I think we have an oddly so spacious space. room right now. <laughs> yep, it's because the couches are outside. My bed is right here, well my mattress, oh. I don't actually have a bed. You're right there, Del. Don't, <laughs> Don't know if the carpet's dry yet. I might be sleeping out here on the mattress. Maybe the couches will have to stay outside tonight and hopefully it doesn't rain. Moving out of the hotel tomorrow. I know I look like an egg. Still haven't slept yet. 
Yeah, Rebecca hasn't slept here at all. I've spent three nights here because I'm done with the hotel. My rip. Sorry. I don't like that bed. I had a sore back it's sleeping really that nice night every you time. Just sleep by yourself. <laughs> I'm sure it is because I've had a lot of fun here by myself. Wow. Having some alone Not time after three weeks. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna go to the supermarket. Welcome to this dumb bitch. Bought too much again. Well, I knew it wasn't gonna be a light shop. One on each shoulder. It's doable. Absolutely ridiculous. My shoulder still hurts from the last bit. I made it back. I had to carry them myself because Rebecca went back to the hotel tonight because she still got some stuff there and she didn't bring her overnight stuff again. But it wasn't nearly as bad as bringing the Ikea stuff back. It is 10 o'clock, so that's probably all I'm gonna do tonight. Um, you can probably hear the washing machine. I have some of the couch covers in the wash at the moment. I'm having to do them like two at a time. I probably shouldn't leave the sofa out there all night. I can probably put them against the wall, whatever. I'll figure it out, <laughs> move all this stuff, get the space looking hopefully a bit cleaner. All right, I've cleaned up this area, brought the couches in, Set up my bed for the night, moved everything that was on the floor onto this table. It looks amazing, it looks like a little shop. And then cleaned up all of the plastic and cardboard. Um, so stoked that this kind of plastic and this kind of plastic can be recycled in Australia because it can't in New Zealand and I would always feel so bad whenever I would get orders in New Zealand that had a lot of plastic and it would just have to go in the trash. So I don't know why I just said trash just then, um, rubbish. <laughs> Good morning guys, today I am off to get the last of my stuff from the hotel and Rebecca's at the hotel right now but she's going to bring the last of her stuff over too so we'll be fully moved into the apartment. Um, I'll have to figure out the Wi-Fi tonight, I keep saying I'm going to do it and then I just run out of time. And then we're also going to be going to Kmart to get some appliances and stuff. Already to check out of the hotel like four days early. <laughs> we can give you a proper like room overview now. Here she is, not all filled up with our stuff. Nice little mini fridge and a sink. Happy to see this room go. Like it's been great, but it's so tiny. And out this window, the rubbish truck, which is there right now. They come like 50 times a day and wake you up with the sound of broken glass. It's been great. Yeah. Goodbye, hotel. We are officially all moved in. <laughs> we made it back with all our Kmart stuff. The only thing I couldn't get you was a sandwich press, but we got an air fryer and a slow cooker in this bag. No, we did. <laughs> I put some couch cushions on, the ones that were dry. So we have a few that are ready to be set on. The rest are still out here. Good morning. Welcome to another day of the moving vlog. I have finally put the couch together. It looks amazing. Oh, so beautiful. So nice to finally have a place to sit. And it's huge as well. It's literally like a six seater. And then also the coffee table and TV cabinet arrived. So I need to put those together. We also have the bar cart here just waiting to be put together. Over here, the kitchen is still a mess. I've just started cleaning the cupboards so that we can put stuff away. They're quite deep, which is, it's like the whole length of my arm, which is gonna be interesting because I feel like things are just gonna get lost in the back and I'm gonna forget about them. And I also, bought my pink kettle yesterday. We ended up getting the best deal because we went to buy it and there were none left in the Harvey Norman that we went to except for the one that was on display. So it was supposed to be like $220 which I know is ridiculous for a kettle um, but they ended up giving it to me for $195 because it was the display one and obviously spending even $200 on a kettle is ridiculous but it's because it's pink. It should hopefully last me for many many years and yeah, I'm gonna get the toaster too, but I'm just gonna wait until payday for that one because otherwise I'm just blowing like 500 bucks on a kettle and toaster and that's a little ridiculous even to me. So I'm gonna wait a while. But also to be fair, I did save up for like a whole year so that I could buy quality stuff for my apartment. I also lugged my KitchenAid all the way over here that I got for my 21st, so she's looking beautiful. I don't have work today, so I'm going to be hopefully getting the kitchen done, hopefully setting up the Wi-Fi. I say that every single day. I still haven't done it. <laughs> I've had the router for like a week, but I just, I haven't done it. So I have barely picked up the camera today, but um, I basically started cleaning the kitchen, putting stuff away. I washed all of the new like glassware and plates and bowls and stuff that we bought. And then I went to Kmart to try and get my sandwich press because it had been out of stock at the last two Kmarts I went to. So this one thankfully was in stock and also the Target there had the wine glasses I wanted. So that was a good trip. Managed to 
get everything I wanted. So like I said, I've just been washing all of these, so they're just there waiting to go away. Um, we're still trying to figure out the pantry situation. We thought these cupboards would be good, but then we realized we wouldn't have anywhere to put like glasses, aside from this one little tiny shelf. And we've also got like wine glasses and stuff, so I'm thinking the top two will probably need to be glassware, and then we can have like one pantry shelf each in here, and then these ones can be our like Tupperwares, because we have like a bunch of these each, and then also all of these sorts of things as well. All my other groceries are still on the floor here. I just put away the ones like that needed to go in the fridge and freezer. I'm going to try and do the Wi-Fi now. I know I've been saying it for days, but I'm gonna try and do it now. So hopefully I'll let you know that it's working. So it turns out I can't set up the Wi-Fi tonight because my laptop doesn't have an ethernet port and neither does Rebecca's. So I have to go out and buy an adapter tomorrow to be able to do that. But I have bought the internet, so that's a step in the right direction. It probably is gonna take a couple days to activate us anyways, but I was just gonna try and see if it would work. Another day with no Wi-Fi. Good thing our mobile plans have like 20 gig of data anyway, so we'll be fine. So for dinner tonight, I'm finally getting to use the kitchen and I'm making this quesadilla. So it's got homemade beans that I just cooked in the crock pot over here today. Corn brand fake chicken, jalapenos, a bunch of different sauces, um, sauce, salsa and this dairy-free cheese that I'm trying. Absolutely stunning. Look at that. Forgot to mention, it's like midnight right now. I never eat dinner this late, let alone even like stay up this late. But for some reason, lately I've been staying up so late since I moved to Sydney. But I suppose with me getting back into working nights, that probably is gonna keep happening. Like I'm not gonna be able to keep going to bed at like 11. So here I am eating my quesadilla in the middle of the night. <laughs> That is the end of our first week of moving into the apartment. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was so much fun to film um, and I'll definitely be putting out a lot more moving vlogs in the future. So definitely stay tuned for those and I'll see you in the next one.